Today we're gonna have a look at a space of 9 square meters that serves as an office and a studio for a YouTuber. So I hope you're ready because the virtual tour is about to start right now. So Marlene Bonelli is a YouTuber who is into Marvel so much. She's a big fan of Marvel comics. Not only is she a collector, but she's also a creator. She is into crafts and creating own statues. And this is mainly what her channel is about. And for that, she needed a redesign of her craft room in her apartment, which by the way is a rental. So this is basically the floor plan that I've been drawing based on the measurements that I've gotten. Basically what I've done is turning this floor plan into this one. So without further ado, I'll just show you the tour. As we enter here, we'll have a clear overview of the entire room. On the right here you will have the shelf unit where you can put items on display and you can also hide them here in a storage unit underneath in a lower cabinet unit and then you also have plenty of storage on top of it. So here for the desk, instead of having two smaller desks as she originally had, I decided to go for one unique generous desk here. And this desk is actually from the kitchen section at IKEA. In fact, this is a countertop table. So countertops in general from IKEA, they are more resistant and they are more sturdy in comparison to office tables that you would have in the office section. They are a bit more expensive, but it's worth investing in it because as you would do a lot of work there on a daily basis, is you might want this to last as long as possible. That being said, you would have here on the left side a drawer unit and here on the right a cabinet unit for storing bigger items. And the idea was to make this space ready to use. It was about on one hand decluttering the space and on the other hand making it easy to work on a daily basis. So here for example I've put the makeup section or the makeup studio just in front of the window because the window is just the best possible source of light you can have. Here on the right side you would find the craft section for the office and this is where I've put this pegboard here on the wall. The pegboard is from IKEA and it's very easy to customize. You can actually put some modules and items on it which will help you to attach all of the items you will use for whatever kind of works you would have to do. Now as for the shelf here, so here's the deal. Marlene she loves to collect items from Marvel and she loves to create as well. So she's a collector slash creator and I believe that these collectibles here in this case they should be showcased in a way that makes them look expensive because this is something she really likes to hold on to you know this is important to her and having a system here that not only gives her structure and organization but also makes it stand out by using lights here. I've integrated LED strips here on top so you can see them here in my uh, animation with these rails and thanks to that the entire wall is becoming some sort of a museum right so it's it's like a gallery if you want and you would have this gallery here the main one on this side and then you would have on the opposite side the other gallery that we have at the entrance one of the reasons I wanted to give it more of a museum gallery kind of feel is because as she's going to record videos in the future all she would have to do is put the the stool here that you have at the desk in the middle of the room and she could easily swap or change the backgrounds that she would have in the videos. So let's say you're using this as a background on YouTube. If you use the right lens on your camera you can actually have a blurry background which I think is kind of awesome. Also subscribers usually they like to see the content of the creators in this case. So this is why I did that. And then you also have here on this side a built-in closet. Now on top of this closet what I've done is this here. So this is basically just a shelf that I've mounted on the wall and underneath uh, you will find roller blinds. It is always nice to have at least a corner in your room that you can use as a photography studio. And then the lower cabinet unit you would have here, since that it is on wheels, you can just put it on the other side and then you can just easily use this uh, corner for photography eventually. And this is how you can add more functions to a small room. That's basically it for this apartment. It's not a lot, it's small, but nevertheless I really enjoyed uh, working on this project uh, as I usually do actually. Let me guys know if you have some recommendations and in case you have a small space and you're a bit desperate about designing it feel free to drop an email at spaceyspice at gmail.com and I'd be glad to help you. So on that note thanks for watching enjoy your space and see you next time. Bye bye!